When it comes to building e-commerce on WordPress, whether you're selling physical products or digital products, you guys might know that it's a little complicated, okay? And I have been using over the past year or so a brand new tool called Shorecard. Now, again, it's been around for a little while now, but still is not quite as popular, of course, as the most uh, well-known e-commerce solution for WordPress, which is WooCommerce. And I think that Shorecard is paving the way toward what the future of e-commerce for WordPress is going to look like. So in this video, I want to take you through basically my five favorite features of Shorecard, why I think it's something that you can use in your business to um, to sell products. If you're a web designer, you can obviously use this for clients. If you uh, are not a web designer and you're just looking for a way to sell your courses or to sell your memberships or to sell um, even physical products. Shortcut is a fantastic solution for you. And here are my top five things that I really love about it. The first one is a simple design. After you get it set up, you are looking at your dashboard here. And you can see they make it really easy to see what you're looking at. Revenue, orders, and your average order value over this specific period of time. Right here, you can get started by creating new products adding buy buttons and cart buttons or customizing forms. So it's really easy to sort of dive in. It's got a very simple design. Things are laid out nicely. The way that they have everything set up is very, very nice. If we have subscriptions, you can come down here and actually get insights on the subscriptions. You can see the total subscriptions, the new, the new trials, the uh, monthly recurring revenue, the monthly recurring revenue that you lost, and then the outstanding installments that you have, and all your subscriptions, of course, get listed down here. You can check out these different insights across these days. You can go here and see a lot of information on your cancellations. They have cancellation funnels with a subscription saver if you're on one of their uh, more professional plans. There's just a lot you can do, and it's got a very simple design for how much you can actually do, which is very, very cool. The second thing that I love about it is the quick implementation. You can install Shortcut, the free version, and get up and running on it in a very short amount of time. So let's go create a test product. So I'm going to go over here to products. Let me turn my little pointer on so that you can see what we're doing. And uh, let's just say we're going to add a new product here. And we're going to say my awesome product course. We work mostly with course creators and membership site uh, owners. And so uh, let's say we're going to create a new course and we want to actually sell that. Now in traditional e-commerce systems, there would be a lot of setup to do at this point. You would have to go in and configure all your payment settings, all your email reminder settings. Um, you'd have to actually create the the product in your system and create checkout forms and they're kind of are ugly right out of the gate. So you'd have to do a lot of configuration on them. It's not like that with Shortcut. Of course, you want to set up your payment details and everything, which they have a fantastic onboarding process for. But when you're ready to actually get into it and start making a product, it's easy as pie. So we've already got our name. We can give it a short description. This course will teach you how to be positively Awesome. There we go. We could add an image if we wanted to. We're going to set up pricing. So let's say, uh, by the way, the pricing module here, we'll have to do a whole video just on that. It's extremely powerful. So let's just say that this course is going to be a one time access. It's $297. Uh, so this is going to be, uh, let's just do it this way. Let's say uh, basic plan. Let's say it's going to be $297. And let's say that normal price on this is going to be $497. Very simple to set up our pricing. They have a really awesome option here to allow customers to pay what they want. So let's go to create price. There we go. There's that price. Now, if we wanted to, we could add another price. So let's say that this was going to be um, advanced plan with coaching. And let's put this on a $297 per month subscription. Boom. That easy. Do you know how hard it is to add a subscription in WooCommerce? You have to pay for additional software to add it to it. You have to configure the product a completely different way to make it work with subscriptions. There's none of that with Shortcut. You simply say 297 repeat every month, day, week, or year. You can add that compare at price if you'd like to. 
And then really that's it. Now there's all kinds of things you can do. You can do a free trial. You can do a paid trial. So you would just do a free trial and a setup fee. But we're going to keep it real simple and create that price. So there we go. Now we have two prices. One is a basic one-time plan. The next one is a subscription plan. And that simple, we can choose which option that we want. Let's keep going down. We don't need inventory since we're not selling a physical product. We don't really need variations since we are not selling a physical product. Now integrations, this is cool, but we're going to come back to it later. So I'll skip that for now. Downloads. Maybe each person who sells a course actually gets a download with it. You can do that. And you can even do license creation. Look at for all of the complexity that is involved in these options. It's all simple. It's all right here in a very intuitive looking page. We're getting set up so quick. We're only a couple minutes into this. So where the real power is, is actually being able to go to a checkout. So again, this is a digital product availability. It is purchasable. All of the stuff is set up how it needs to be. But let's say that we wanted to go ahead and create a checkout for this so that you're ready to go. We're going to save the product. And then we're going to go here to instant checkout. And really what we can do is just hit publish and it gives us a link and we can just click on view and it will open up in a different tab for us. And there we go. That simple. We have a checkout page created. You can choose the basic plan or the advanced plan with coaching. Of course, you will have to set up your payment processor, which you'll do during the onboarding process. And then you can hit purchase and all of the rest of it is taken care of for you. So it's very easy to get going. Simple design, quick implementation. Let's talk about the next thing, which is related to these. And that is an intuitive interface. The system is really great. One of my favorite things about a system like this is that things are where you would expect them to be. Notice that to find everything we needed to find, we have not had to, to, to comb through deep layers of menus and very complicated things. Everything is where you would expect it to be. You'd expect to be able to integrate with other platforms right from here. You'd expect to be able to create your pricing right here in a very intuitive, simple way. You'd expect to be able to uh, read this page, starting with the left and going down and then coming up here to the sidebar and, and actually interact with the page in the way that it's laid out. As simple as that sounds, it's really, really confusing in other systems like WooCommerce. And by the way, there are times and places for WooCommerce. I like WooCommerce, but this is just so much more simple and makes a lot more sense. And, and when it comes to even configuring things like your settings, Let's go over here into the sidebar. Notice how even the sidebar itself is sectioned out to make it real easy to see what you're looking at and where everything is. You can look over here and see it's all nice and organized. And even when you go to their settings, the settings page here is not like the settings pages on a lot of other systems. It's, it's really confusing. There's menus and sub menus in a lot of them. Whereas here, you just kind of walk through and you're looking at each one and there's lots of padding, lots of space, lots of breathability. Uh, the, the, the names for everything is, it's a good size. You can kind of understand everything really easy to understand what you're doing easy here to upgrade if you need to. And it's just a great system with a very, very intuitive interface. All right, next, I want to talk to you about how Shortcart is both powerful, but also at the same time, very subtle. And this kind of goes again to the other things that we've been talking about. But what's cool about Shortcart is that it really stays out of the way. Okay, it, it doesn't impose itself in places where it should not be. And it's very powerful how it works. And in fact, as, as good as Shortcard is, I think that this is even, even better demonstrated when you're using Shore members, which is in that ecosystem as well. With Shore members, for example, you guys might know that membership programs are extremely difficult and, and very complex a lot of times. Shore members is very, very lightweight and just works with everything so nicely. Okay. For example, if you go into Shore Members here, again, your settings are right up here and it's a pretty slim looking page. I mean, this is the page you get with Shore Members. You add access groups. Everything else happens inside your configuration for an access group or in the specific integration that you're working with. If you want to go to your settings, you click up here and you have another page. Again, this page stays out of the way, but it's so simple and yet so powerful. You can restrict content in your search results. You can have user roles to decline admin access. You can actually create 
and sync user roles right here in store members. And you also even have redirection rules. But again, none of this is in the way. None of this is complicated. None of this is, is buried in super obtuse menus. It's all right here and easy for you to access. If you go to create an access group, Everything again is right here. You sync the user role, you choose what to do with unauthorized access. You can redirect the URL here. You can add a message right here. There's even a priority option so that certain access groups will get priority over others. You can choose to protect the entire website, all pages, all groups, all memberships, pretty much any post type is available in here. And once you choose one, you can even exclude things and create exceptions. You can drip content with this thing. It's super amazing what Shore members and Shore Car and really this whole ecosystem has packed in to these very simple, intuitive, powerful, and yet subtle interfaces. And then the last thing I want to talk to you about is integrations. Now there's yet one more product in their ecosystem called Shore Triggers that I don't have installed on this site, but it allows lots of integrations with uh, Zapier and all the different WordPress plugins that you can possibly imagine. Um, but even the integrations that are built in are pretty easy to use, very intuitive and pretty flexible. So for example, let's go back to our product in Shorecart that we had created before. Let's look at our products. And we're going to look at my awesome course. And notice right here, we have these integrations. So to sync purchases of this product, add an integration. Even the language is very simple. To sync purchases of this product. In other words, when you purchase this product, it's going to be synced with this integration. And right here, you select an integration. And look at all this that you have available right here. If we had Learn Dash installed, we, would, we could sync right with it. Same with Lifter LMS or with Tutor LMS, which is great because I use Learn Dash and Tutor LMS. If you have a MemberPress membership, you can sync that up. If you have Shore members, it will sync that up. And so there's all of these um, integrations that we have naturally there. Now we have some other programs too that integrate with it, and they're pretty easy as well. For example, in Fluent CRM, if we go here and we look at the automations, we can create a new automation and we can look and see Shorecart. Right there is Shorecart. When you have a new order success or an order revoked, you can create an automation funnel and add them to a particular tag or a list. So the integrations are uh, embedded very naturally. They're adding new integrations all the time. And it's really, uh, really an amazing platform and amazing functionality. And I got to say, there's one more thing that I haven't covered yet that I feel like I need to. And that is their fantastic Facebook group. This Facebook group, you can join. It's got um, 5,500 plus members in it right now. They are constantly updating people right here is an update from the group behind Shorecart. Um, one click upsells are coming soon. That's amazing. A beta by Friday or Monday. I'm super excited about that. Shore triggers paths, which is going to be a huge update. Shore members, like they have been really working on lots of stuff and developing this ecosystem and joining this Facebook group is a huge benefit of it. So I hope you found this video to be helpful and a good little introduction to Shorecart, its simplicity, its intuitiveness. And if you are looking for an e-commerce platform to help grow things for your business, I very highly recommend you look no further than Shorecart. The rate at which they're developing things is amazing. And I really think they're paying attention and listening to their customers in a way that most plugin developers and certainly the bigger companies are not really doing. Get on board with the team at Surecrafted and I think you're going to be very, very happy with the decision. If you found this video useful, please like it. Uh, comment below. Let me know that you found it useful. Share it with somebody if you are doing an e-commerce project with them or you know they're looking for e-commerce and I would be grateful that you did that. Take care.